Your close friend, Miss Beyonce, had a big crowd yeah. the other night at yeah. the inauguration. Yeah, and she was beautiful. Wasn't she gorgeous? Yes, she was. And I'm sure you've heard about her possibly lip syncing mm -hmm. during the inauguration. What do you? What is your take on that? Okay, I have to honestly say, unfortunately, but fortunately, um, I was in rehearsals all day for Fela. So I actually need to see it, you know, and I will say this, it's not the first or the last time that, you know, someone has had to lip sync if, let's say if, Michelle Williams is saying if, if in fact, you know, she did, I honestly, you know, can't say, but my greatest singer of all time, Whitney Houston, I mean, it came to the light that, you know, that her anthem was in fact lip synced. But if it was, imagine just being in a sea full of people, you're outside, you got the echoes, it's probably freezing out there. Mm -hmm. You know, could you imagine a gust of wind coming at you while you're trying to sing? So um, I don't want to elaborate too much because I honestly don't know. The importance of just having a backup track. Mm -hmm. It's common, mm -hmm. but explain to us why somebody would do so. You know what, I'm, it, it's, it's their personal preference. Um, like I said, with big crowds and echoes, you know, when it's a big historic moment, you don't want any room for any mistakes. So I can understand why it was done. It ain't like she went and recorded herself playing guitar and she really don't play guitar. I mean, the girl can flat foot sing. Right. So we all know that, so I don't know why in the grand scheme of things that matters.